Hello. In this presentation, you will learn about the process for transferring instruments between schools. Teachers commonly loan or borrow instruments with colleagues from other schools to support their programs and address critical needs. First, if an instrument leaves the school building, a transfer must be completed. To get started, you will need to log in. Note, your password may be different than your password to other BCPS systems such as email. Once you correctly enter your information, you will be taken to the main screen. Here is what your main screen will look like. Note that if you are assigned to multiple schools, all of your school's listings will appear here, so you will need to sort out the school with which you are trying to work. To initiate a transfer, click on the green plus sign to the left of your school name. The symbol is circled in red on the graphic above. This will cause several fields to appear, including information regarding the transfer history and location of the instrument, as well as any comments. Look for the field labeled Transfer Instrument. On this graphic, it is the third field from the top and is circled in red. In this field, you will see that your school name is fixed as well as information about the instrument you are transferring. Please assure that the information matches the instrument that you want to transfer. An errant transfer will cost a colleague time to go into the system and transfer it back to you. To transfer the instrument, carefully select the school to which the instrument will be transferred. To do so, click on the drop-down menu circled in red above. Scroll through the menu and click on the school that you have selected. Use the comment field to indicate a timeline for return of the instrument. For example, see the message typed in the comment field above. When you are done entering your instrument, press the Save button at the bottom. When this function is completed, the instrument will no longer show on your visible inventory, but will instead show on the inventory of the school to which you transferred. Note. Be sure that the teacher who is borrowing the instrument returns it at the end of the school year, both physically and via the inventory system. Be sure to do this as part of your year-end inventory verification process. This has been a brief tutorial on transferring instruments between schools. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me at any time using the information above. Thank you for your part in maintaining an accurate inventory.